my lab studies on drug metabolism, which is basically the process by which the body gets rid of drugs after we've taken them. Drugs have to be um, fat soluble so they can get into our cells, but you don't want them there forever, so we need a way to get them out. And the way we do that is by proteins in our body, um, in a major family of proteins that does, that does this are called the cytochromes P450. So these proteins chemically modify the drug and make it so the drug can now be more water soluble. So it can be readily excreted and leave your cells and leave your body. So we want to know, do they contribute to the um, benefits, the therapeutic benefits of the drug you're taking? Do they contribute potentially to side effects as well of the drug? And what we found that in certain instances this is true, that these products can actually play a role in the therapeutic effect that you get. And on the um, kind of other side of things, they can actually participate in the toxicity or the adverse effects that you experience from a drug. We're really interested then in understanding why these products are able to do that. Um, if they do participate in an adverse event, are there ways that we can prevent them from even being formed in the first place? So one project that we've been really excited about is working on an HIV drug called efavirenz. So efavirenz is one of the most widely prescribed drugs to treat HIV. What we found is that these products that are formed by these enzymes, the cytochrome P450, um, that one in particular seems to be the major participant in toxicity that results from treatment with the efavirenz. So now what we're working on is modifying the actual drug efavirenz itself so that we can hopefully keep the good things about efavirenz but stop um, the toxicity from occurring.